Hey guys, it's Alina here, and now I'll be showing you how to install HOnco onto your PS Vita and also the Enzo permanent PS Vita hack. Enjoy the video, and if you like it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to show your support. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I'll be showing you what settings you need to have to be able to install HOnco and the permanent Enzo version on the PS Vita. So what you want to do is go to settings. And I'll be showing you what firmware version I am. 3.65 as you can see. Now what you need to do is go to network, Wi-Fi settings. Go to the network you're connected to, advanced settings. And then you'll see you need this DNS server. 2.12.47.229.76. So this is necessary. Make sure you get this. I will have it in the link in the description below for you guys to see as well. Go back. Go to PlayStation Network. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on and everything. It's just going to load like this. And then it's going to say you must update the system software. So just click update it. Don't worry. It's not going to go to the latest one anyway. Update using Wi-Fi. And then it will say the latest version of the system software is already installed. You just click OK and click cancel. And that's it. That's the PS Vita ready. So now what you want to do is connect it to the computer. You go content manager. Leave it like this. And you don't even need to connect it. I'm just going to leave mine like this and I'm going to connect it at the later stage when we get to the next part. So now I'm going to go off to the computer and show you what you guys need to do there. All right, guys, we're on the PC now and I'm going to be showing you what to install so you can um, install HOnCore onto your PS Vita. So what you want to do is go to this website right here. I'm going to have it in the link in the description below, of course. You need to download Auto HOnCore, whatever the latest version is for you. For my video, when at this time of recording, it's 0.4.4 and yeah, what you want to do is download the zip. So I got that. Then what you want to do is go to this one right here and get enzo.vpk. So this is what you're going to be using to get the permanent software hack on your PS Vita. So you got to click this, download enzo, I already got both of these. And what you want to do is show in folder, unzip this one, and just drag those files wherever you want, as long as you remember where they are. So I've just made a custom PS Vita folder called PS Vita Hacks, and I just dragged them inside already. And also, what you want to do is grab your Enzo from your folder and put it onto your desktop. Next, you gotta open your QCMA. If you don't have QCMA, go watch my first meet. My, my first video I made, it's how to hack any PS Vita firmware. So what you want to do is right click settings, go to, it's going to open like this. You want to go to other and down here, your one will, will be different. It shouldn't be like this. So your one would be on firmware 0, 0.00, always up to date. What you want to do is change it to custom and then change it to this number right here. 03.690.000 and then what you want to do is click OK right click QCMA close it and then open QCMA up again and there you go now it's open and now we're going to go back on the PS Vita and I'll show you how to connect it to the PC to make sure to install the older HONCO on it so here we go Alright guys, we're on the PS Vita now and what you want to do is connect your USB cable from the computer into your PS Vita. Like so. And then what you want to do is hit copy content. And that's it. So it should have your PC name on top here. My one is desktop something something. And you just want to leave it like this. Now you got to go back on your computer. Alright guys, back onto the computer, what you want to do is make sure your QCMA is open and that your PS Vita was left on the screen on what we did before in the previous part. So now what you want to do is go to your PS Vita hacks folder, if you've made one or whatever, wherever you install, you extracted your H on, on uh files to. So what you want to do is 
double click autohunkool.exe and it's going to say which language English of course and then you just want to click already download all the files blah 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 you want to make sure this box is ticked so it reduces the size of the app instead of 240 megabytes it's only going to be 13 why you should do that well you're going to get more space who doesn't want more space then click start and now it's going to be doing it so what you got to do just wait for the program and click the necessary things so some of the parts that are not necessary i will try and speed up if needed if not i will not speed it up so just please bear with me Okay, here we go. Now what you want to do is click USB because it's pretty much asking you how you want to transfer it via Wi-Fi USB. We connected with USB, so that's what we're going to go with. If your video is plugged in, unplug it and click next. So there you go. You want to unplug it. Then click next. And it says connect your PS Vita now. So now you connect your PS Vita. And it says warning you must remove the existing bit of smart backup from your qcma directory if you want to keep it move it now so this is if you've um pretty much installed auto h and core before we won't want to delete it we don't need the backup because we're making a new one so now it's going to continue on with the process and there you go Finish your H Encore installation. You don't need to follow any of this. I'll be showing you what to do. You just click OK, close it, go to your QCMA, right click, click Refresh Database. That's going to happen like that. And then what you want to do is go back to your PS Vita and I'll show you exactly what to do. But still make sure your QCMA is open. All right, guys, now what you want to do is click PC to PS Vita System, Applications, PS Vita, click H Encore and click Copy yes and now you just got to wait for this to copy onto your system and then we'll run it and pretty much install the hack so this part will also be sped up for your convenience there we go now that's done you can pretty much close this down you can see hey tronco is pretty much there what i like to do is unplug it Click H on core. Click yes. It's gonna open this new window. Go down to install Henkaku. Success. And then what you want to do is download another Vita shell. Just to make sure that the other one that we downgraded from with Trinity doesn't make any interference. That's what I like to do. Never encountered any problems with it. And there we go. Now what you want to do is exit the application. So the way you check if it worked, you want to run Vita Shell. And if it opens up, it pretty much worked, guys. There we go. Vita Shell is running. Go to your settings. And you see Henkaku setting is right here. What you want to make sure to do for the next part is enable unsafe homebrew. Make sure it's ticked. Spoof version 3.70 and now I'll be showing you how to install the permanent hack for 3.65 Alright now for the 3.65 permanent hack Enzo what you want to do is connect the PS Vita via USB Like so But instead of click clicking content manager what you want to do is go to Vita shell If Vita Shell doesn't open, simply what you need to do is run Henka, uh, H Encore again and then click install Henkaku and then that will pretty much work. So press select and now it's connected to the USB. So now let's go back to the computer and I'll show you what to do again. Alright, we're back on the computer and now I'm going to be showing you what you need to do to install the permanent hack on the PS Vita. So what you want to do is... I'll just start afresh, go to your PSC, this is your PS Vita system that you connected, click view, show hidden files. If you don't know, if you don't know what to do, if your hidden files aren't appearing and looking like mine, 
pretty much what you need to do is check the hidden items box so make sure it's ticked go to options go to options change folder and search options go to view make sure show hidden files and folders is ticked and make sure hide unprotected operating system files is not ticked so remember this one is the most important hide unprotected operating system files not ticked and then you'll see exactly what i'm seeing so if you downloaded the enzo.vpk before what you want to do is transfer it to the root of your system and that's it now what you want to do is go back onto your ps vita again right where we left off from the pc now what you want to do is cancel the usb connection go to uxo0 go all the way down and you're going to find enzo.vpk what you want to do is run it yes installing yes we want it now what you want to do is close this down and you can see enzo's here now run it and it says here a bunch of stuff like if you want to proceed you know that there's some caution and stuff like that it can break your system blah 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 maybe it can't maybe it will you never know so it just says some of these risky things you know that could happen to your system so you just click circle and then you click x to install slash reinstall the hack we're installing it so this part will be sped up because it might be a long process oh never mind actually it's so fast it's right there it's done press any key to reboot now it's rebooting there we go and if you see the symbol you successfully permanently hacked your ps vita congratulations guys we're pretty much reaching the end of the video and i'll show you just a couple of things so you can find out if it's really hacked or not so what we want to do is scroll down, enter PS Vita shell. If it opens, you've success successfully did it. There you go. Vita shell opened up. Now go to your system. Go to system, system information, and you can see, bam, it says Enzo Henkaku right there. And we didn't even need to run Hroncore to access it. So I'm pretty sure you guys can delete H Encore now and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And next video I'll be showing you how to install auto plugin, PKGJ and Adrenaline so you can get those games. So that's probably the best video that's going to be uploaded on the channel as everyone's looking forward on how to get those games. So enjoy fellas and have a great day, evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are in the world. Just have a good time.